All right, the Mooresville Blue Devils going on the road to take on the Providence Panthers. Uh, a lot of people felt like Mooresville was going to get a test in this game, and they certainly did. While Providence um, only one win on the season, uh, the hope for them was to kind of get um, a run to the playoffs jump started with a uh, win over a very good uh, Mooresville team that has been uh, really strong on offense, especially. Uh, and starting out the season in a lot of blowout uh, victories. But to get it started here, this unique pass bounces off a helmet and then Searman Conde shows some great awareness and catches it for a Providence first down. Um, but the drive didn't go anywhere. You see number 19 getting up in there, uh, getting pressure on the quarterback. But Brody Norman comes back, tries to hit a big play downfield, but it's intercepted by Jaden Woodruff, number three, the corner. Um, one of the best uh, secondary players for Providence, making a great play on that. Um, but right here, Jamari Farmer comes back with a big hit. There's a lot of defense in this game, um, and he led the charge for Mooresville. There you see Jadarius J-Man becomes a running back, a big run. That's going to set up his own short touchdown run here. And Mooresville's going to take a 7-0 lead. Um, on the back of Jadarius becomes on that drive, he had a lot of yardage on the ground there. Uh, Providence comes back, Jackson DB over the middle to Keelan Shelton. A nice catch and run here uh, for a first down. Then, big hit right here by Jamari Farmer, letting Shelton know he's in the middle of the field. Now, DB getting pressured. He's flushed out to his right, looking for a receiver, and he's picked off by Delaware commit A.J. Graham. Nice interception right there, snuffing out a scoring chance for the Panthers. Now, we see it 7-0 at the end of the first quarter. Going to the second quarter. High snap. Soto Kelly jumps on there and gets a sack for the Providence defense. Then, DB trying to roll out again. Jamari Farmer with the big hit. Balls goes out of the back of the end zone. It's a safety for the Blue Devils. And now it's a 9-0 lead, which they're going to take into halftime. As you see, it's 9-0 at the half. Third quarter, Providence comes out the locker room. Jackson DB trying to get something going. Nice scramble right here for a first down. Gonna keep the drive going. DB with a nice quick pass right here to Octavia Oliveira in the slot. Makes a couple of people miss. Gets it down deeper towards a potential touchdown. Then DB back in the pocket, got time. Finds Keelan Shelton over the middle. Beautiful 30 yard touchdown pass. Providence cuts the lead to nine to six. They missed the extra point. But now we got a ball game. And now, Morris was going to try to come back and get something going. But the Providence defense rises up right here. They get a big sack on the play. Big 44 getting up in there. At this point, you felt the momentum shifting. You felt like Providence really had something going right here. You're going to see the nice, beautiful putt right here by Richards. But then Keelan Shelton gets the ball. And he's going to make a couple of guys miss. Get out towards sideline and set up good field position for the Panthers on offense. And you really felt like they were getting it going. DB finds Oliveira. Nice play right here. Big game. First down Panthers. They line up a field goal to tie the game. Just wide left. We had a great angle on that. That would have tied the game at 9, but it's still 9-6. Moore's believe they take advantage. Nice drive. Capped off by Brody Norman, the quarterback right there on the TR touchdown run. That's going to give Mooresville now a 15-6 lead. And once it got to two scores, they had control. Brody hits Dominic Morn. They had a great connection all night long on a lot of similar kind of short to medium pass routes. It sets up a field goal by Andrew Cummings. It's good. 18-6. Mooresville over Providence now at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Now, Providence is going to try to get something going right here, but this is when the Morrisville defense really takes over. DB back in the pocket. There's KJ Gillespie getting a sack fumble right there. Ball recovered by Providence, but it doesn't lead to anything because right here, DB's trying to direct traffic. He gets flushed out to his right. Completed pass, but AJ Graham with the big hit right there on Providence receiver. Doesn't go anywhere. Morrisville team sack defense feasting right now. Multiple people on there, including Jamari Farmer. He was our defensive player of the game. There's a play right there to help put it away. That's Brody Norman to Dominic Morn for another Mooresville first down. 
And they really got it going right here. Fourth and one. Fake punt by Morris for the seal of the game. Jamari Farmer running right at us. I had to get out the way. <laughs> but that picks up a first down that essentially ended the game right there. He's excited. He has every right to be. Morrisville's a very good team. And they came down to Charlotte tonight, taking a knee on Providence's field and winning it 18-6 over Providence to go to 5-1 on the season.